Welcome, in this video I will show you how to save battery fast on Apple Watch SE 3. The key battery saving feature that you can use is low power mode, which is basically the most effective way to save battery because it turns off features like always on display, background heart rate and other background activities. And to turn it on you have to press the side button to open the control center on your Apple Watch and once you open the control center, find the battery percentage tile uh, in this menu and tap on it. Then tap low power mode. And now you can either turn it on or turn on for some specific amount of time. If you select uh, turn uh, on for, you can select uh, one day, two days or three days as an option. And then to turn it off, you have to simply tap on this option again. Now. Uh, what you can do otherwise uh, without using the low power mode? Well, you can turn on, uh, turn on the always on display feature manually. In order to do so, you have to press the digital crown, then scroll down to the settings app. And once you find it, open it. Now in settings, scroll down to general. Uh, no, not general, but display and brightness section and scroll down until you find the always on feature here, tap on it and switch it off by switching this toggle to the left. So that's uh, one way to, to do so. Uh, now uh, the other uh, thing that you can change in this particular menu is the brightness level which you can uh, decrease or increase either using your digital crown for it or tapping one of these two icons to either decrease or increase your uh, brightness. And the last feature that you can change in this menu in order to improve your battery life is the wake on wrist uh, race. Uh, this way your if you switch the cycle to the left your Apple Watch will not be turning on uh, accidentally when you move your wrists. Uh, so this is also a very useful feature and uh, I really recommend uh, uh, switching it off if you want to save your battery life. And that's it for this uh, particular menu. Now, besides, in the settings app you can, find, uh, you can go to general, then scroll down to background app refresh, open it and switch this toggle to the left in order to disable a background app refresh which will also save your battery on your Apple Watch. And the other way, the other uh, thing that you should check in the general section is the uh, bedside mode. You can also switch it off if you want to save your uh, battery life uh, during the night time. And uh, also check out the software update and check if your device has any updates to install. Of course, firstly make sure that it's uh, connected to the internet and if you don't have any updates to install then uh, you can move on with it. But if you do have any uh, software updates then of course take your time, download and install them. This will also significantly improve your battery life. Now uh, let's go back to the settings and find sounds and haptics. And now you can, uh, first, first of all, you can enable silent mode, which will uh, reduce the, the reduce the uh, uh, sounds amount on, uh, coming from your Apple Watch, which will also improve your battery life. Uh, also, scroll down to level and make make the notifications quieter. You can also go to haptics and turn them off by switch uh, by switching this value to off this will also improve your battery life okay and uh, the crown haptics uh, can be switched off too but if you feel uncomfortable with uh, without crown haptics of course you can leave this option uh, disabled, uh, enabled. And the same uh, with the system haptics. You can also disable them in order to improve your battery life. The next thing is uh, uh, widgets. You can reduce the amount of widgets 
uh, in order to improve your battery life and make your uh, battery last longer by uh, swiping uh, your watch face to the top to open the ed uh, widgets list until you s and scroll down until you find this edit icon now first of all scroll to the very bottom until you find widget suggestions and switch widget suge suggestions off by switching the toggle to the left this way you will have uh, well at least two less uh, widgets on in your on your widgets list and uh, check the widgets that you don't necessarily need and uh, just uh, tap the uh, minus icon in the top left corner of your widget and then to apply changes uh, just press the digital crown or tap the OK icon in the top left corner of the screen Okay, and as you can see, we have uh, way less widgets right now, which is great because uh, th uh, this will also increase the battery lifetime. Also, make sure that whenever you are, you need to focus, you use the focus uh, feature, or uh, do, do not disturb feature or sleep feature, which uh, which are all located in the focus menu. In order to enable the focus menu. Now, uh, focus feature have to press the side button to open the control center and then uh, find the crescent moon icon on the list and then uh, in a, uh, from time to time enable do not disturb mode by uh, tapping on it and then selecting on uh, this way you will receive way less uh, notifications and uh, reduce this will also reduce screen wake ups so uh, Make sure to use uh, your TND mode from time to time when you need it. And uh, also you can use the cinema mode, which also uh, enables silent mode and keeps the screen dark until you tap the screen or press the digital crown uh, or side button. To enable cinema mode, you just have to tap right here and to disable it, just tap on this tile. And uh, the last thing that I want to mention is restarting your watch. Usually this uh, comes first, but uh, in this case, I just want to mention that restarting your Apple Watch occasionally can help refresh its system memory and resolve my, uh, minor battery issues. In order to restart your Apple Watch, hold down the side button for a couple of uh, seconds, then tap the power, option, uh, power icon in the top right corner of the screen. And then uh, move this circle to the uh, other uh, side of the bar and then wait until your Apple Watch is restarted. Okay, and so basically speaking, these are all the tips I wanted to share with you in this video. So uh, if you watched until now, then thanks you. you Thank you very much for watching this video. If it helped you, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like in the comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.